Good morning. My name is Kathy Hawken, and I am a member of the Good Shepherd Morning and Evening Prayer Team, which brings you morning prayer every day, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. live on Zoom. You may see this video later in the day by going to goodsheponline.org and clicking on prayer. You scroll down and you will see a picture of prayer books in the pews. Click on that and it will bring you right to us. That's for going live. Now, if you want to see it later, you can go to YouTube or Facebook, goodsheponline.org, and you will find us there. So today is Tuesday, November 22nd, and it is two days before Thanksgiving, which is such a wonderful holiday because it's simply being grateful. There are no presents to buy. There are no cards to send, unless you want to send to people you're not going to be with. But in the whole, you don't have to do all of the fussy stuff. You can just gather and be happy to be together. Uh, and that's very special. So welcome to us this morning. Uh, today, we are commemorating C.S. Lewis. And when uh, I looked that up yesterday, I thought, okay, I know who that is, because I don't usually know who we're comm commemorating. And C.S. Lewis, as all of you, I think, are aware, was a British white writer. I did not know he was an Anglican lay person, theologian, uh, but he was. And we all know he wrote Chronicles of Nar Narnia, but he also wrote Mere Christianity and Miracles, and um, he was a very, very good friend of Toplin, and um, he had sort of given up on religion at uh, an earlier point in his life, and when they, the two of them got together, uh, Toplin got him back into uh, thinking about it, and he became uh, very involved and as a result, wrote these books and and um, became a very good Christian. So that is who we commemorate today later in our service. So we will begin morning prayer right to grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful, merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Our invitatory psalm is the Jubilate, said in unison. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He has made us and we are his. We are the people, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. 
We have a trifecta today in the psalm section. We will read 121, 122, and 123, pausing just slightly between each one. I lift up my eyes to the hills from where my from where is my help to come. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. But the Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is a unity within itself. To which the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, the assembly of Israel, to praise the name of the Lord. For there are the thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls and quietness within your towers. For my brethren have companions and companions sake, I pray for your prosperity. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek to do you good. And finally, 123. To you I lift up my eyes, to you enthroned in the heavens. As the eyes of the servants look to the hand of their masters and the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until he shows us mercy. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy. For we have had more than enough of contempt. Too much of the scorn of the in indolent rich and the derision of the proud. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson this morning is from Zechariah, chapter 11, verses 4 through 17. Thus said the Lord my God, be a shepherd of the flock doomed to slaughter. Those who buy them kill them and go unpunished, and those who sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I have become rich, and their own shepherds have no pity on them. For I will no longer have pity on the inhabitants of the earth, says the Lord. I will cause them, every one, to fall each into the hand of a neighbor, and each into the hand of the king, and they shall devastate the earth, and I will deliver no one from their hand. So on behalf of sheep dealers, I became the shepherd of the flock doomed to slaughter. I took two staffs, one I named Favor, the other I named Unity, and I tended the sheep. In one month, I disposed of, th of the three shepherds, for I had become impatient with them, and they also detested me. So I said, I will not be your shepherd. What is it to die? Let it die. What, it is, what is it to be destroyed? Let it be destroyed and let those that are left devour the flesh of one another. I took my staff favor and broke it, annulling the covenant that I had made with all the peoples. So it was annulled on that day, and the sheep dealers who were watching me knew that it was the word of the Lord. I then said to them, if it seems right to you, give me my wages, but if not, keep them. So they weighed out as my wages 30 shekels of silver. Then the Lord said to me, throw it into the treasury, this lordly price at which I was valued by them. So I took the 30 shekels of silver and threw them into the treasury in the house of the Lord. Then I broke my second staff, unity, annulling the family ties between Judah and Israel. Then the Lord said to me, take once more the implements of a worthless shepherd, for I am now raising up in the land a shepherd who does not care for the perishing or seek the wandering or heal the maimed or nourish the healthy, but devours the flesh of the fat ones, tearing off even their hooves. 
of my worthless shepherd who deserts the flock. May the sword strike his arm and his right eye. Let his arm be completely withered, his right hand utterly blinded. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let us say together the second song of Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion and to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish, it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our second lesson is from Luke, chapter 18, verses 31 through 43. Then Jesus took the twelve aside and said to them, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and everything that is written about the Son of Man by the prophets will be accomplished. For he was handed over to the Gentiles, and he will be mocked and insulted and spat upon. After they have flogged him, they will kill him. And on the third day, he will rise again. But they understood nothing about all these things. In fact, what he said was hidden from them, and they did not grasp what he said. As he approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard a crowd going by, he asked, what is happening? They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. Then he shouted, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Those who were in front sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he shouted even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and ordered the man to be brought to him. And when he came near, he asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He said, Lord, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Receive your sight. Your faith has saved you. Immediately he regained his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, praised God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let us say together, you are God. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in English praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the holy church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, are, you, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people. Bought with the price of your own blood and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. And now let us profess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. 
On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages B. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. The colic of the day is proper 29. Almighty and everlasting God, whose will it is to restore all things in your well-beloved Son, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, mercifully grant that all the peoples of the earth, divided and enslaved by sin, may be freed and brought together under his most gracious rule, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now a colleague to commemorate C.S. Lewis apologist and spiritual writer. O oh God of searing truth and surpassing be beauty, we give you thanks for Clive Staples Lewis, whose sanctified imagination likes fires of faith in young and old alike. Surprise us also with your joy and draw us into that new and abundant life, which is ours in Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A colic for the mission of Good Shepherd. Loving God, you sent your only Son, Jesus Christ, that we might have hope of eternal life and the Holy Spirit to sustain us in our faith in you. Give us grace to be a beacon of faith, hope, and love in this community, that we may radiate the transforming powers of your love to everyone everywhere who live and reign together, one God forever and ever. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ in all denominations, but particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Nike, Nigeria, the Right Reverend Christian Anya Bishop. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and the Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and our Companion Diocese, remembering today especially the Diocese of the Dominican Republic the Right Reverend Moses Quazada Mota Bishop. A prayer for mission. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you and bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray also today for our Connect Ministries, remembering especially a taste of Good Shepherd, 
that our members may come together to share, celebrate, and promote their ministries, and Bridge Club, that members of Good Shepherd may gather to enjoy a fun and intellectually stimulating pastime. And now let us say together the Good Shepherd Parish Prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, make our parish of Good Shepherd truly a community of prayer and belonging. Raise up in our midst the resources and leadership which will enable us to act upon what you would have us do. In this place and in a ministry of love and concern for others. Open my mind and heart to discern what you would have me do. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I love that prayer. All right, we have reached the point in the service where we offer our prayers of petition, intercession, thanksgiving, uh, either shared with all or held in the silence of your heart. Well, unfortunately today, due to technical difficulties, I cannot see the chat box. And so I don't know what prayers and intercessions and thanksgiving you want to give. But I would say this, on this week of Thanksgiving, we give you thanks and praise, dear Lord, for all the blessings that you have given us. We are truly thankful. Please help us to show in the way we live how much we, are, how much we appreciate all the joys you have given us in this life. Please keep all our friends and relatives safe as they travel so that they may gather to give you thanks and praise. Watch over those who are not feeling well and help them to maintain, to return to good health. We ask these things, dear Lord, in your holy name. Amen. And finally, let us say together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May your thanksgiving be filled with lots of good things to eat, lots of thanks to the Lord above, and, of course, that all the people around the table are kind to everyone, everywhere. Have a great Thanksgiving. Uh, we will be here tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock hopefully without technical difficulties.